So we're now going to look at f of x equals e to the x. OK, so remind ourselves what e to the x looks like. OK, going through 1 on the y-axis. So that's your f of x equals e to the x. Now, if you translate it by the vector 3, 0, it shifts the whole curve 3 to the right. So we would be expecting this curve to look something like this. Oh, shouldn't be crossing the x-axis there. Let's uh, doctor it a bit. There we are. OK. Now, so that's moved three units to the right. Now, we could work out where it crosses the y-axis. So let's just write down what the equation would be first. So replacing the x with x minus 3, so e... Oh, I'll just write it in the blue, just so we know it's a transformation. So e to the x minus 3. Now, that's clearly when x is 0, because that's where the y-axis sits. So when we've got x is 0, we get e to the minus 3. So that is the exact um, number of where it crosses the y-axis. OK? So that's what it would look like. Now, y equals f of x plus 2, translating e of x two units um, up. OK? Now, y equals e to the x has a horizontal asymptote at the x-axis, OK? So it's tending towards uh, the x-axis in that direction. So if I translate the curve by two units um, in the vertical direction, then that translates the asymptote as well. So we now have an asymptote. at y equals 2. And we know also that the curve will be crossing through the y-axis at 2 units up, so at 3. So this curve... Oh, let me do it in blue. Done everything else in blue. There we are. So that will be at 3. So that would be my translated curve. And the equation of it would be, well, e, f of x is e to the x plus 2. OK? And that's what it would look like. Now, f of 2x... OK, so a stretch by factor of a half uh, parallel to the x-axis. So all the x-coordinates would half. Would look something like this. That would be a bit different. Let's try and sort that out. Something like that, OK? Oh, that, that's very shoddy workmanship. <laughs> Let me try that again. Very shoddy. Maybe if I try from this end. Trying to get a nice curve to go through one and then something like that. That's a bit better. Okay. So uh, this would be your halved one. So every x coordinate has been halved. Okay, okay. That would be our new uh, our new curve. The equation of which would be e to the two x, replacing the x with two x. Okay. So how about half f of x? So that's a stretch parallel to the y axis, factor a half. Okay, so if I halve all of the uh, y coordinates, it would now look something 
like this. Just going to sort that bit up. Got to be very careful with your sketch to make sure that it doesn't end up uh, crossing the x-axis. Okay, and it's crossing through a half on the y-axis. So I would be sticking a half in front of e to the x, and that would be the equation of my new curve. Now f of minus x. So there's e to the x. So reflecting that in the uh, in the line x equals zero in the y-axis would look something like that. Okay. So every point has been reflected in the y-axis, and this would be e to the minus x. Okay, because the x is being replaced with minus x in the function. And then finally, minus f of x is a reflection in the x-axis. So there's f of x. And then minus f of x would look something like this. Going through minus 1 on the y-axis. And that would be the same as sticking a minus sign out the front of the exponential function. Okay? So that is uh, how we transform e to the x.